The jet had touched down just left of the runway, gouging a hole right through it. The right wing tip and engine had touched down first. The plane slid on its belly before rising up, bouncing three times on its nose, flipping over and breaking apart. Despite the severity of the impact, 35 of the 111 victims survived it, but later died from smoke inhalation. The cockpit broke off and was crushed into an unrecognizable ball of wires, but the four men inside survived. Well, this is a happy day for many of us. We must not forget that 111 people perished in this accident. And to their families and their friends, I would like to say that this crew, and in fact the entire industry, is dedicated to finding the cause of this accident. So maybe we can never have it happen again. In the days that followed, the National Transportation Safety Board took over the crash site and began its accident investigation. The focus quickly became the large intake fan on the rear engine. On the other engines, this six-foot fan was intact despite crash damage. But the in-flight explosion of the rear engine had left a large hole. The NTSB moved the rear sections of the DC-10 to a nearby hangar and began the painstaking task of reconstructing the two rear stabilizers. The NTSB eventually determined that 74 pieces of shrapnel had sprayed out of the rear engine, severing all three hydraulic lines. As a result of the Sioux City crash, all DC-10s were retrofitted with hydraulic system shutoff valves. If the same accident were to happen again, hydraulic fluid would not leak out. Forty air crews were put in flight simulators and given the same scenario Captain Haynes and his crew faced. They all crashed, repeatedly, without even reaching the airport. As for the four men in the cockpit of Flight 232, they all returned to flying after recuperating. According to one survivor, the passengers aboard Flight 232 remained calm while the crew was struggling with the plane. But some began writing their wills, and others prayed. One passenger said, It was like being hooked to an electric chair. You knew you were going to die. You just didn't know when. For the History Channel, I'm Kara Stone. Thanks for watching.